Today I want to make a video about this little lens and gear meter. Can't remember if I made a video with it, but uh, I'm not sure. I'll give it a go today. Beautiful day today. I'm just going to take some dust off this meter and open it up shortly. It is a beautiful day again today. Thursday, the 4th of August, police helicopter is out again. Looking for somebody. Probably oh, some crap going on in somewhere. I just got this Sangamo meter. It's S200.16. I'll give it a bit of a spin, so I'll give it get the dust out of it. Uh, CT meter, so the readings are uh, two readings for 200 to 5 ampere CTU ratio. The wiring of European meters is a phase in, brown wire, phase out is white in this case. Neutral blue in and blue out goes through the terminal block. Tilted the meter back a bit so the current call is uh, two lots of four, so that's eight turns. It is a very crowded meter, there's a lot of stuff in here in a very compact design. Um, here you can see the voltage call, it's above the current call of course. Then we got a series resistor here, in series is a call to operate the day night rate meters, uh, register. Probably 110 volts and that uh, dissipates the, the excess voltage. This is meter is rated for 220 volts, that's a connector block. I'll show the arrow move. Classic lenders and gear brake magnet uh, used meters from the 1930s up to the 1960s. A normal uh, sapphire dual bearing, not floton magnet yet. As I said, I have so many metering videos, I can't remember if I've uploaded a similar meter already. But at least this is new footage anyway. And uh, metering is still one of my big hobbies. All the number wheels are made from aluminium. Also are the Genevas, so it's no plastics in here, so quality materials. Do manual operation on the day night weight. I'll do a dial test with this, see if these meters actually line up. This ah, Sangamo CT meter is a class 2. I get it on 7.0 here. And the lenders and gears uh, say point comma 6 low. This is a spare register out laying around. That is uh, for 900 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Exactly the same design as the meter I've running, I have running on the display here. There's the differential gearbox here in the middle. And the name plate Nacht and Dag. Nacht is night and Dag is day in Dutch. This meter is from the PGEM, Provinciale Gelderse Electricity Maatschappij, Arnhem, Netherlands. It's a real pity there are not many more metering collectors out on the internet or worldwide. Well, the heater load just switched off and uh, two potential calls drawing 3.4 watts. Our cat supervising there is Luke having a bit of a sunbath. And Cookie is observing. Cats love TVs. Here's a cat monster. Cookie! This cat is definitely defective. Meow! Meow! Let me 
need to switch the back on again. I love watching this type of equipment. Not all people think like that, but it's for me an amazing obsession. Wind drive. This meter is probably 60 or 70 years old and so still going strong. 017997. Fantastic. 18,000 the click word. Here we have one of the common half pattern 35 ampere black dot used as backup fuses for these uh, meters. Single phase, aim phase supply. The old, uh, 700 lamp. Just clip and clip the lids already. This bulb was broken. Metal halide in here, but I'm going to put a uh, sodium bulb in here. E40 socket or screw thread, whatever. If you can read it, it's a Luca Lux 250 watt bulb, double uh, cartridge in there for instant re strike. We're going to stick that one in the device and then plug it in and see if it works. We need to connect these wires up first to make this thing to work. These lamps are quite good, they've got a little built-in fuse carrier thing. It's good practice to have the earth wire the longest. So in case anything gets pulled out, the earth wire makes contact as long as possible with the metal housing. Okay, active, earth and neutral. Plug it in, see what happens. Cold start, this lamp hasn't been tested yet, so see if it works. Energize device. And it works. That's good. Meters are spinning too, it's connected up to these two meters. Keep the shade on here so it looks better. Startup of lamps is always amazing. Orange is coming in from the sodium. A bit of bluey, light bluey who on the top. Oh nice, we're going light blue now. Green. White. Oh, there's no tracking lines on the camera coming in now. Is the camera keeping up with it? Oh, it's still or not? It's run out already. Ah oh, yeah, horrible. I'll put the hood on. Put the diffuser down. You have the load 250 watts. There. The loading is not as high, going very slow at the moment. Very cool. 
able to see the reflections of the stroboscopic lines on the rear panel of the meter. Who knows, this might be its last one ever in its life. This meter. The sodium dome is happy. Ballast looks good. This is my rough Vesti style setup for testing equipments. But you can't beat sunlight for testing. Best color rendering ever. This is the load of the bulb 250. 94 watts. Can't be this view. I can hear the hum, I like it. We'll do a de-energization. Well, we start straight away. Follow the other capsule now. <laughs> 